What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now this is going to be my PvE God build video. This thing is amazing in PvE content, not only for the raid, but also any sort of heroic, whether it be level 4 control points, invaded missions on heroic, invaded strongholds on heroic, what have you. This build not only has survivability, but it also has damage. It also has maxed out hazard protection, and it has 98% damage to elites. This build pretty much has it all, so if you guys really like PvE content in the Division 2, I would definitely recommend you guys trying this build out. It is a little tricky, but once you get all the pieces, you'll understand this thing is quite amazing. But, like always, shout out to the DoD, Disciples of Doom. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. If you guys enjoy this video in any way, shape, or form, don't wait. Go ahead, mash that like. If you have any questions at all, hit me up in the comment section below. And if you guys have already subscribed to the channel, don't forget to mash that notification bell. Because I am doing videos a lot more lately, and I don't want you guys to miss out on all the fun. Especially these Thieves Den vendor resets. Um, they're really time sensitive, so make sure you guys have those notifications on. But alright, enough pulling your chain. This is my PvE God Mode build for TU6. This thing, oh, I love this build, you guys. Alright, so quick overview. My primary uh, base damage, 22.8k on a custom P416 with only 5 reds. The Eagle Bearer, 24.5k with only 5 reds. Also, I have 98% damage to elites. I am running the Hollow Man, so of course I have over 100% hazard protection. I am also running the Zero Fs, so I have that Nomad uh, proc, if you will, from Division 1. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, with the proc of Perfectly Unbreakable, you get 100% of your armor back when your original armor is depleted. And it is amazing. With this much damage, this much damage to elites, and the maxed out hazard protection, this thing is amazing for the raid and all heroic content. Like I said, the level 4 control points, the invaded missions or strongholds on heroic, even the raid, it doesn't matter. This build is really fun to use. But alright, there's your overview. Let's start off with the specialization. I'm using the survivalist. The reason why I'm using this survivalist is for two main reasons. One being the specialization itself. I need to use the crossbow when I am on generators in the raid. And if I don't want to do that, I'll switch my specialization, you know, to demo or, you know, the sharpshooter, what have you. Um, you can also use the technician and use the laser pointer for all those spotter builds. But I use this with the grenade because I'll throw the flame grenade for all those snipers and get the status effects. So it's really aimed towards the raid right now, but you can use this in anything. You can switch it to whatever specialization you want and this build will not fail you at all. The gunner specialization will give you 150% give you armor every time you pop an armor kit. So using that with this would probably boost up your survivability. But if you want to help others out, uh, whether it be the damage to add a cover or the headshot damage or the status effect damage, you'd have to use a different specialization. But all right. The weapons, primary, the custom P416. My secondary, the Eagle Bearer. Uh, main reason, because for all you that don't run the Eagle Bearer, uh, I would highly recommend you guys use this custom P416. Uh, you could also use AKM, but you know, obviously it does shoot slower, but it does, you know, quite a bit more damage, but to each their own. This custom P416 is currently at 22.8k base damage. I rolled on their Optimist. 
my weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. So whenever I'm at the last few bullets of my magazine, I'm getting upwards to 30% additional damage. And then the requirement is five or less reds. So that's why I can only have five reds max. Also, I have Allegro on here and Everlasting. I'd probably prefer Protected Reload in this build situation. The mods I'm using, the Hollow Sight for 8% damage to Elites. The Muzzle Break gives me another 5% damage to Elites, so that's 13% just off of two weapon mods. I chose with Accuracy on the Grip because I'm not running Technician, so I can't run the Laser Pointer. Uh, I don't really have any crit chance on this build, so there's no need to really throw crit chance on there. You could go with stability if you feel it's not stable enough. I just went ahead with accuracy just so I could try to beam them from a little bit more distance. And then, of course, I chose the sturdy extended mag for the additional 20 rounds, bringing me up to 50 rounds. The Eagle Bearer with this build, 24.5k base. Uh, nothing really special to talk about it. When I'm using my custom P416, I get to utilize the holster talent, Protected Fire, so I get additional 10% bonus armor while I'm using the custom P416. And you know that's pretty nice. The sidearm, uh, you guys can go with whatever sidearm you want. I just chose the double barrel sawed off just because it's easier. This one has 233.2k base damage with premeditated Allegro and recharged. Alright, quick overview of the build before I get into the gear. It is a 512 build. The reason for it, Optimist on my primary weapon and perfectly unbreakable on my chest piece needs 12 blues. If you guys can go more uh, yellows, by all means do that, but the 5 is the max you can have, and the 12 blues is the minimum you can have. With that, I have 319.2k armor with 69.5k health. That's a little uh, low for the amount of blues that I have, but with the perfectly unbreakable and the amount of hazard protection, and the amount of damage, the survivability with this build is wonderful. You could easily throw a chem launcher on here, a revive hive, or a, a, you know, some sort of fixer drone, anything you want uh, to increase your survivability by all means. But I went to try to get as much damage as I could with only five reds and 12 blues. Starting off with the mask, uh, the hollow man mask. It is a must for this build because of the talent perfectly insulated. So the Hollow Man is the named Yall Gear mask. Yall Gear is a brand set giving me an additional 10% hazard protection uh, while using this. So the 10% there, I also have perfectly insulated. That is uh, insulated on steroids, giving me another 50% hazard protection. And then the attributes I have rolled on here, one blue, one red, the blue being hazard protection at 19%. So I have 79% hazard protection just on the mask, and then I threw 53% damage to elites as the red attribute. Moving to the backpack, it is a Badger Tough backpack, uh, 493 gear score, it is kind of low. Uh, RNG needs to hook a brother up with a better backpack, but until then, I'm going to use this thing because it has five blues off of this one item. So, quick overview for Badger Tough. The brand set bonuses with this build, I do get 7% damage to elites, but I also get 15% armor on kill. And with the amount of damage you're doing with this build, that armor on kill at 300 and you know 20,000 armor, it's a pretty nice chunk. Now the attributes, like I said earlier, all blues. I have health percentage at 4%, total armor at 20 and a half, health at 10,400, and armor at 11,000. 
and it also comes with a blue mod slot so I threw more armor and total armor on there and it also came with protection from elites giving me another two percent down to the gloves uh, in TU6 I think these are the god mode gloves these are my go-to in nearly every build I have. It is the Alp Summit Climbing Gloves with Devastating. And it also comes with a red mod slot. So with this build, the Alp Summit gives me 20% uh, skill haste, which is not a big thing. And it's really not a bad thing. The attribute, I have 12% AR damage. And it has Devastating giving me another 5% weapon damage. And then the red mod slot with more weapon damage and AR damage. So with this one piece alone, I have 23% damage. Moving over to the chess piece, the Zero Fs named Badger Tough chess piece. Uh, this chess piece comes with Perfectly Unbreakable. 100% of your max armor is repaired when your armor is depleted. And then armor kits used within 7 seconds are not consumed, and that can occur once every 60 seconds. The requirements, 11 or more blues. So if you want, you can drop down a blue, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. This one comes with two mod slots, a red and a blue mod slot. I threw on their weapon damage and AR damage, and then armor and more total armor. The attributes rolled on this chest piece, two blues and a red. Total armor at 6.5%, which is really low. Armor at 9,500, which is also low. And then I threw on their 14, and a, uh, 14 weapon damage. Down to the holster, Fenris holster, two blues, which is uh, quite surprising. But the Fenris brand set bonuses I get from this build I get the 10% AR damage but I also get the 10% protection from elites so doing these heroic missions doing the raid and all that that definitely helps you out I have two blues rolled on here I have health percent at 12 and then I also have a health roll at 22,000 this holster came with hard hitting giving me that 25% damage to elites the knee pads, Fenris group. Uh, this one comes with insulated and patience. And it also has a blue roll at 11% total armor. The insulated does stack with the perfectly insulated. So you can run it on the knee pads and the mask because one is perfectly insulated. It is not a unique talent. And the other one is just regular insulated where it says unique talent. The unique talents do not stack. However, all the other ones do. Doing the skills, uh, you can use probably a revive hive. And then you could either choose like a chem launcher uh, or, you know, what have you. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you, the player. I have the flame grenade, like I said, I'm doing the status effect against the enemies to help out the snipers. And let's finish out with the stats. Going down to the weapon sheet, this is for the custom P416. 22,795 weapon damage. I do not have crit chance. I have, what, I have headshot damage at 55%, not bad. However, in the offense tab, I do have 22 weapon damage and 46 AR damage, bringing me up there to what, 68% damage bonus. So I have 68% damage bonus and 98% damage to elites. And then don't forget about the health damage with your ARs. Going over the gear talents, of course, I am running the perfectly unbreakable and the perfectly insulated. In the defense tab, 319k armor, a little low, but it uh, is what it is. I have that 40, just under 48k armor on kill, and then just under 70,000 health. 
I do have 27% protection from elites and 109 hazard protection with 100% resistance across the board. This thing has great survivability and great damage. I highly recommend you guys try this out. If you guys want some sort of raid gameplay or something you have to see, let me know in the comments section below. Maybe I'll just release like a gameplay video for you guys to check out. But with that being said, 22.8K on the custom P4, 24.5K on the Eagle. You have perfectly unbreakable, perfectly insulated, with maxed out hazard, and 98 damage to elites. If you guys enjoy this in any way, shape, or form, mash that like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.